Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a national body, which is Spice Food. I have already discussed about few national bodies such as APIDA and BIS, and there are some, some of the national bodies which are left, which we'll be covering soon. So if you want to uh, go, to, uh, if you want to learn about those national bodies, so you can refer to the link which is given in the description. So all these national bodies, they are uh, important because they are present in all the syllabus of important exams which are being conducted by other FSSAI or other state exams for the post of CFSO or CEO, etc. So let's start with today's topic that is uh, the national body named Spice Food. So Spice Food is the Indian government regulatory and export promotion agency for the Indian spices. The Spice Board is headed by a chairman, which is rank equivalent to the joint secretary to the government of India. And the Spice Food has its headquarter in Kochi. And currently the chairman of Spice Food is Sri A.G. Thangkappan. Spice Food was constituted in year 1987 under the Spice Food Act 1986. The major reason behind setting up of this national body was it was given the responsibility of production and development of cardamom and export promotion of the 52 spices which are shown in the schedule of the act. So the board has a state-of-the-art testing laboratory, which is headquartered in Kochi, and there are also several regional laboratories, which are located at Mumbai, Chennai, Delhi, Kuti Korean, Kandala, and Guntur. Through all these laboratories, the spice board, it makes mandatory quality checks for spices, which are exported from India to abroad. So coming to the main functions of the spice board, so first one is research, development, and regulation of domestic marketing of small and large cardamom. Post-harvest improvement of all the spices. Next is promotion of organic production, processing, and certification of the spices. Next is development of spices in the Northeast, provision of quality evaluation services, and export promotion of all the spices through the support of technology, quality upgradation, brand promotion, research and product development. So these are the main functions. The other responsibilities which are related to the export promotion of the spices are quality certification and control, the registration of the exporters, and the collection and documentation of trade informations, and the provision of input to the central government on policy matters relating to the import and export of the spices. So all these responsibilities are of spice board and these are performed by this particular national body. So what are the multifaceted activities which are performed by the spice board? They are the promotion of export of spice and spice products, the maintenance and monitoring of the quality of exports. Next is development and implementation of better production methods through scientific, technological, or econo economic researches. Next is guidance to the farmers for getting higher and better quality yields to the different scientific agricultural practices and technologies. Next is provision of financial and material supports to the growers. So in next other functions are enlisted below. They are uh, encouraging the organic productions and export of spices, facilitating infrastructure for processing and value addition, then registration and licensing of all the spice exporters, and then assistance for studies and research on better processing practices, full proof quality management systems. So it is the responsibility of spice board to provide assistance to the researchers as well so that they can develop better processing practices and full proof quality management systems in order to improve the grading methods and to provide effective packaging techniques. Next is production of promotional and educative materials in a variety of media for the benefit of exporters and importers. So these are the list of functions which are performed by the SPICE board. Next is package of services for exporters and importers. So it helps exporters and importers in establishing mutual contact. It identifies the competent supply sources for specific requirements of importers and processes and forwards foreign trade inquiries to reliable exporters. 
Next is it organizes a common platform for inter interaction between the Indian exporters and the international buyers through the participation in major international exhibitions and meetings. So it organizes a common platform so that there could be an interaction between the exporters and the international buyers. So they organize exhibitions and meetings so that there could be strong interactions through the participation in major international meetings and exhibitions. Next is examine complaints from importers for corrective and preventive actions. So there are other functions are, it spearheads the quality improvement programs for Indian spices. It manages a comprehensive and up-to-date data bank for exporters and importers. And it brings together international bodies, exporters and policy makers to contact groups and programs. It makes India's presence felt in major international food fairs, conduct food festivals and cooking demonstrations. So these are the functions which are performed by the Spice Food. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.